Hello, Owen Rain here, working on the John Deere 2510 here again. Today, if you watched the last video, Owen, we got some new steps here all painted and they should be ready to go on the tractor at this point. The only thing is the steps that were on the tractor, I need to finish painting those before I can put the new ones on. So uh, we're gonna probably do that at the end of today's video here again. We're gonna flip them over, uh, get those painted. Uh, we're gonna start by working on today is the, and I, and I use air quotes here, original steps that were on the cab here because again, I don't think they were original. Uh, we're gonna get those uh, cleaned up. I'm probably actually gonna take those outside. It's actually not too bad outside. In fact, I don't know if you can hear, it's really, really windy out there, all the creaking and cracking that's going on here. Uh, but take that outside, I'm gonna clean that up outside because I really don't wanna get that mess in the barn here. They are quite rusty. Uh, there's dirt and dust that's on them. So probably not gonna bother recording that everyone because I'm just gonna pop the door open here, go out there, do that real quick and bring it back inside. And then hopefully we're gonna get it bolted up to the tractor because we need to weld that bracket back onto it. And actually, you know what? It occurs to me here, everyone. Oh, you know, I could probably put this on. I could probably put the step back on a minute and uh, before I paint it. That way I can line up that bracket to weld it because otherwise I can't weld that bracket without that step on because that step needs to be on so I can bolt to it and uh, get the alignment right. So that, yeah, that should work. Thinking as we go here, right? Thinking as we go. So uh, yeah, let me get these cleaned up here real quick in a minute and then we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. By the way, I picked up some new uh, wire brushes here. My uh, current one. I mean, I could probably get a, uh, I could probably get a little more use out of that. I think, maybe just a little bit, <laughs> uh, just a little bit. This is what it looks like, by the way, when it's brand new. That's that's a brand new one there, uh, six inch. I can really only probably use this. I'm a big uh, grinder here, the nine inch grinder, because that has uh, low enough RPM. Uh, the RPM on this says six thousand. I think I don't remember what my or what the RPM on this one is here. I don't remember. I think it's too high for that. Does it say here? I'd like to say it's too high. Uh, 9,000, yes. Uh, 9,000, so it's too high for that one. So for that one here, I got just the little three inch here. Uh, 14,000 RPMs it says for that. This is a crimped one. This is just like a brush. Works really good, just uh, can only use it on that one. So I'm probably gonna use a little three inch crimped one here because I can take that outside with the battery and uh, that shouldn't take too long. Okay, well that still took like probably a good uh, 20 minutes here or so hitting this with a wire brush. It looked a whole lot better out in the uh, dark than it does back in the barn here now, but oh well. Uh, I got it the best I could here. You know, like getting down in here, it's pretty hard to do. Really best thing probably would be to sandblast it, but uh, a certain someone <clears throat> doesn't uh, doesn't feel like uh, sandblasting here. So we're gonna, I think we'll, uh, we'll call that pretty good, I guess. Uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this bolted up to the tractor. We'll have to get one of those steps bolted up underneath there as well, so we get uh, at least one bolt hole. I'm not gonna worry if we don't get two bolt holes lined up. Yeah, one's good enough. I suppose we can always drill. And we might end up actually having to drill another one. We'll see once here. Probably will, because chances are neither one of those will line up. So yeah, we'll get these uh, bolted on here a minute. As a reminder, last video there, we did drill two new holes. I don't remember what, I think these. I think these two are the new ones, I think. Could be wrong on that. I don't remember what the two new ones were, but we'll figure out how they line up under there and then uh, get those bolted up. Okay, got the uh, steps bolted on here. Got the old step bolted on there as well. And I'm looking at this uh, brace here that needs to go on here. You hold it up, unfortunately, as I kind of mentioned earlier, none of the holes line up. And I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get the camera on here, good. Uh, looks like we also need to uh, straighten that piece out there as well. Notice how it's bent down. Uh, again, that's probably because it was like that before, because again, the steps would have been probably about, what, four inches lower or so, because uh, again, the whole cab has been raised up, uh, I don't know, average three, four inches, something like that. So that kind of makes sense. Like I said, it had been sitting like that. So I'll see if I can uh, straighten this out here. This is a fairly, I don't know, is that three sixteenths? I don't think that's quite quarter. It looks like three sixteenths to me. Uh, see if I can straighten that out here a minute. Well, it's not uh, perfect, but it is uh, slightly straight. I, I said slightly straighter here, everyone. Uh, one thing too, I just finished holding it up there as well to see once if it would uh, line up. It lines up pretty good. Uh, we are gonna have to drill two new holes, kind of as I suspected. Uh, again, because we're essentially mirroring this from that side of the tractor to this side, everything's kind of reversed around. So the holes that were here now need to be here. It was kind of the same thing with the steps there as well. The holes were over that way. Now they need to be over this way, right? So we'll get uh, two new holes drilled in here. Could probably just get away with one, but uh, we'll, we'll do two, I guess.
Okay, holes drilled, bolted up, clamped up. I think we're ready to uh, weld this here. Uh, the mate here wasn't real good, so that's why I got uh, two clamps on here to really try to draw this step down into this piece. Hopefully that doesn't affect our bolt alignment too much. I've got everything roughly tightened. It's not like tight, tight, but just uh, snug. So, okay, let's, uh, let's weld it. Okay, and we are ready for paint. And I realized that when I kind of actually screwed up what I was planning here a little bit, I was actually planning first thing when I got out in the uh, shop here to paint these, uh, prime these. That way, now that I'm to this stage, I could actually paint the green paint on them. Tomorrow they'd be done and finished. Uh, I, I've forgotten that was my plan. So, oh well, we're a little out of sync here with what I was planning, but that's fine because I need to prime this as well. So I might as well prime everything at once and then we'll have to wait until tomorrow's video to actually put the uh, green paint on them. Oh, well, just it delays us a day, I guess. Not the uh, not the end of the world. But yeah, because I was planning on hoping to be able to put these all back on, or at least these anyway, back on tomorrow. That way I can get that on tomorrow. But 
Oh, well, it's not going to happen. Uh, I did, uh, by the way, wipe all this down with brake cleaner. I don't know if I've mentioned that with uh, some of the other parts I've been doing as well. I've been wiping stuff down with brake cleaner. You know, it's amazing. Uh, you go wire brush uh, something, and then you uh, well, let's clean it off with some brake cleaner, you know, just to make it as clean as possible. And it's like, wow, that was still on there yet. Uh, nasty looking. And, yeah, I should have seen the one uh, after I finished... Uh, uh, wiping these down with brake cleaner these two here wow the i actually went through two rags on each one it was just so dirty uh yeah again just uh spray them down with brake cleaner make sure they're cleaning all the grease and especially these parts here make sure all the grease and stuff is off them that's probably more what it is you know the wire brush doesn't really take that type of thing off i mean smears it around maybe but uh so anyway let me get a can of primer shook up here and we'll get these uh primed and uh that will be it for the video here tonight <music> Unfortunately, we'll have to wait till tomorrow to do that. So on that note, everyone, with all the uh, paint fumes, I'm going to abandon ship here again. Uh, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.